exciting day here at Life Elevated Trailers. We got this 2023 living quarters stock combo toy hauler behind us. Why I call it that is because yes, it is a horse trailer. Yes, it is a stock trailer, but it also has an open 17 foot garage in the back. that You can haul side-by-sides, four wheelers, road bikes, whatever toys you want. If you only want to watch a minute of this video and you want to get the basics on this trailer before I dive deeper into it, here it is for you. You've got an 11 by 15 living quarters with a 17 foot garage area, like I said, that's a 42 foot overall length of this trailer. It's got a 48 gallon freshwater uh, tank on it, six gallon hot water heater, 28 black, 28 gray on your black and gray tanks, 4,000 watt generator, heat, 18,000 BTU furnace, 13,000 BTU air conditioner. Um, it's got 10 gallons of propane on board, full size spare, um, and a 100 watt solar system. So those are your basic components on this trailer. Obviously there's a lot more to it. Follow us inside and we'll go over the rest of it. All right, we'll start right here. Underneath the awning, this is an 18 foot power awning, built in LED light strip. And you've got an exterior load light over that door to provide plenty of light if you want to hang out here in the evening. On the outside here, for your convenience, you've got two 110 plugs to plug in whatever you want to use outside the trailer, along with speakers to listen to music when you're outside hanging out with your family. And then you'll see a few access doors out here. You've got your fuel tank for your generator inside that access door. This is the access panel to the six gallon water heater. It's propane fired water heater. And then right here, you'll see the outlet for the 18,000 BTU forced air furnace this trailer comes with to keep you warm. So you got your hot water there, you got your furnace here, your outputs. Um, and then on your door here, you have a window in your RV door that has both day and night shade along with a slider to allow you to get air into the trailer or close it down completely so no one can see in. Follow me inside and we'll talk about a lot of the interior features. Yeah. All right, guys, first things first. A lot of times you want to be inside the trailer with the man door open, but you don't want bugs to be coming in. So Trails West has a super convenient built-in screen door, slide it across, magnets in place and stays. Super nice, convenient feature to keep the bugs out, but allow airflow in. All right, here we are inside the living quarters of this trailer. Again, it's an 11 by 15 layout here. So 11 on the short wall, 15 on the long wall. Um, right over here, we've got your cooktop, it's a two burner cooktop, sink, and then this is the main output for your 18,000 BTU furnace. Um, full size microwave up top here, and then on the wall right here, you have both your air conditioner and your heating built into this Dometic thermostat. The air conditioner is ducted from here up into the front, and then the heat is ducted into the bathroom to make sure that the uh, the heat and AC are both spread out evenly inside this living quarters. Um, you've got a 48 gallon freshwater tank for your sink here and shower in the back. And then you have 28 gallon black and 28 gallon gray water tanks on this trailer. So you can go a long ways with your family and not have to constantly be dumping this thing out. So this trailer's got tons of storage on it and there's tons of little things that are really well thought out. For example, this cooktop right here, extension of your um, countertop clipped in place lift that up then it locks out to give you a nice area when you're preparing food to have a little bit of extra room and then you just go underneath it lift up on these two and then clip it back down in place and it'll stay right there um, pull out drawers here that all have clips on them so they stay shut when you're going down the road so right here we've got this 32 inch flat screen tv and the cool thing about this tv is it can face out here when you're hanging out in the living quarters area and they can also spin up into the gooseneck. So the gooseneck's a really cool spot. Climb up right here, obviously, but then you can close this privacy door, and then from the back of this TV, you unpin it, and it actually spins around so that you can watch it in bed in the goose as well. Um, as you go up into the goose, you'll see you've got a California King mattress up in there. You've got push on and off lights up in the goose so you don't have to get out of bed to turn some, some lights on and off. Day and night shades. And if you aren't familiar with what a day and night shade is, I'll show you here on the door. So basically you've got kind of a lighter light filtering shade. And then when you wanna go more black out at night, you can pull down this much darker shade at the top. That's why they call them day and night shades because they have a two, a two shade system to 
filter less or more light. And those are on every window in this trailer so that you can black it out or you can keep your shade shut for privacy, but still have a lot of light coming into the main area. Next, we'll go over the control panel and uh, I'll show you how everything in this trailer is controlled. All right, here we are at our main control panel. The nice thing about a Trails West trailer is all of your main controls are here together. So you don't have to run all over the trailer to shut it down. Let's start with your 12 volt system. So in every trailer, you've got a 12 volt system. Your 12 volt system is your lights, your um, water heater runs on propane and 12 volt, your forced air furnace runs on propane and 12 volt, your fridge can run on propane and 12 volt, and then the rest of your stuff like your air conditioners, your TVs, those things, they run on 110. Um, and then the last thing it runs on 12 volt is your stereo system. So anyway, right here, you've got your 12 volt shut off. So when you want to get out of the trailer and make sure that you don't have something on that's going to suck your batteries dry while you're out and about, you can click this off and kill the 12 volt power completely. It's battery disconnect. Next thing you've got is a few light switches for the stuff inside. 110 outlet here. You've got your awning extend and retract, which are on a 12 volt system. You've got your slide out, which is also on a 12 volt system. So you don't have to have your generator running to put your awning out or to bring your slide in or out. Got your water heater, your water pump, also a 12 volt system on the water pump. And then you have your stop switch and your start switch on your generator along with an hour meter and a fuel gauge here. And then up top, you've got your solar panel control. So this trailer has a hundred watt solar panel on top of it with a charge controller here that anytime the sun's out, it's charging up your batteries. They come st standard with one deep cycle 12 volt battery that's up on top in the hay rack generator rack which you use to start your generator. It also powers a 12 volt on the trailer. And here at our dealership, we have a lot of battery options too, to add a lot more batteries so that you can do a lot of the stuff you do kind of off grid. Um, so that's kind of all your electrical controls, everything you need to know, super simple, very straightforward, easy to read. You've also got your propane gauge, battery gauge, fresh water, black water, gray water. So all of that is right here. Um, and then just because we're close to it, this is your fridge, um, six cubic foot fridge here. You've got a fridge freezer combo. So, um, freezer on top and then your fridge is on bottom here. Um, super nice piece finished out in wood. These fridges can either run on AC power when you're plugged into shore power or your, they can run off your propane tanks on the front of the trailer. Right here, you got your dinette. Your dinette also turns into a place where people can sleep. You can see it here. I'm not going to go through the whole process, but you lift it up, you take the legs out, and then you've got these little um, pieces here that this table slides into. Cushions slide together. And you've got a great spot for one person to sleep or you know a couple small children to sleep. And like I said, storage everywhere. You got overhead storage here. You've got storage underneath your seats. Um, so you can fit a lot of stuff. Every little nook and cranny of this trailer has somewhere where you can store some, you know, boots, ropes, power, whatever you need. Um, and then up underneath the TV, I just want to show you real quick. That's where the stereo is. So you've got your speaker controls. You've got 110 outlets in here, remotes, and then your the deck for your stereo. Um, now moving toward the back of the trailer, you've got your bathroom here, which is always really hard to film, um, but toilet, sink, mirror, and then behind this door, which will shoot from the other side is your shower. Um, and I'll go through that when we have, when we're shooting from the other side. All right. I figured I'd just get in the shower to show you guys what it looks like. I'm six foot two. So as you can see, it's plenty tall for anyone to shower in. It's a 36 by 40 shower, really nice accordion style doors seal up really well. With that rounded shape though, it gives you the room so you can spin in here without bumping your shoulders and having to kind of crouch up and everything like your standard square shower is. And then behind this mirror, you've got, which is gonna be hard to shoot, but there's a wardrobe back in here. Um, and then down low, you've got just more storage, as I said. And then stepping out, really nice, large tack room. You've got um, four saddle rack that swings out, swing out saddle rack, and then swings back inside the trailer. You've got your swing out blanket rack right here with eight posts on it. You've got tons of bridle hooks, all sorts of places to store stuff. And then here in the corner, you've got your water tank. 
so that you can um, bring your own water with you for your horses in the trailer. And when you get to where you're going, they can um, <clears throat> obviously get water. The cool thing about the way these work, and he just kind of filmed it, is you, they fill and drain from the bottom. So when you fill this thing up, it's got a two-way little garden hose on it. You hook this onto the bottom of the tank, and there's a ball valve on the bottom of the tank. So you got that ball valve shut, you hook this to your garden hose, you turn your garden hose on, and then you open that ball valve and this tank fills from the bottom. There's an overflow at the top of the tank that goes out the bottom of the trailer. And then once it's full, just shut that ball valve off, drive to where you need to go. When you get to where you need to go, same hose, just reel it out, connect it to the bottom, put it in your bucket or whatever your horse is gonna drink from and open that ball valve and fill your bucket. So really cool, simple, easy design. And then on this saddle rack, it's really cool the way it works. So it's on gas shocks and it swings in and out of the trailer and stores out of the way, but makes it super easy when you need to throw your saddles onto the trailer. You don't have to try to step up in holding a hundred pound saddle to try to put it on the saddle rack inside. Really cool feature. The gas shocks are strong, dependable. They're gonna last a long time. And then obviously you have your sport bag here on the door. Follow me to the front real quick. We'll go over a few little features here. You've got your shore power 30 amp service. This is your water. So you can hook onto your city water here and fill your 48 gallon freshwater tank right there. And then up here is a uh, cable. If you want to hook up a satellite dish to the TV inside. Um, sliding windows in the gooseneck. Obviously you can see them from out here. And then as we move back, you can see up top the hay rack and generator department. You got a 4,000 pound generator on this, or 4,000 pound, 4,000 watt generator on this trailer. Really well uh, done hooks for your horses to be tied off to your trailer to. And these are bolted through, so they can't be ripped out by, by an unruly horse. And then this is for the divider inside the trailer. When you shut that divider door, sometimes there's something inside your trailer that's a little, little angry. You don't necessarily want to be inside the trailer opening that divider door to let whatever's in there out. So from outside the trailer, you give that a yank and that lets that divider go so that from the outside, you can open that divider and be out of the way when that animal comes out. Dual torsion, 8,000 pound axles. So the trailer's got plenty of weight capacity with almost a 7,000 pound cargo capacity on top of the 13,000 pound dry weight for this trailer. Ladder to get up load your stuff up on top, um, load lights all the way around it. And then these trailers do come with an optional ramp that we do add to most of them. That ramp is not on this trailer, but basically it just sits on the outside of these doors and folds down. So that if you're going to load power sports or whatever into this trailer, you can. Um, and then I'll go over kind of the flooring in here and all that in the next segment. All right, I wanted to just re retouch on these doors, right? So the, the rear ramp bolts on here and then it comes off and then you can open these doors. Doors are cool though. They have locking halves on them. So these halves are keyed the same and that way you can lock your stuff inside your trailer without having to bring padlocks and everything else. These doors swing open, they clip in place and then you have your switches for your load light over the rear door and then your interior cargo lights in here. Maybe I do need to clip it because it's wanting to, wanting to swing back shut. There, that's clipped in place. Open up your other door here. Swing that puppy out. <clears throat> this is a 17 foot cargo compartment. Like I said, four horses fit in here nicely and or whatever stock you wanna put in here. And then you can fit toys in here as well. Um, you've got 78 inches between your wheel wells inside this trailer on width. This door is easily removed if you're not using it. Um, and all it does is chained right here, open. This swings shut. And then it locks with that locking pin in place. This is the, this is the piece I was talking about outside the trailer that you can open from the outside. When you're inside, you just give it a pull right there. Swing this door back around. You got your nice chain here lock it back in simple as that and then under my feet here you've got the hoof grip flooring this is a really cool flooring because it's not slippery 
and it's permeable where it, allow, it allows urine from the horses and animals to go through the floor out of the compartment and not just um, kind of pool up here in the floor, but it, it doesn't have gaps or slats in it like your standard rubber floor does. Um, and like I said, you're 17 feet to the front of this, so you can fit a lot of toys, a lot of animals, a lot of gear in here. You have Salem vents in the roof. When it's hot outside, these can be open to scoop air if you open them forward, and then they can be open to exhaust air when you open them backward. Also, you've got your plexiglass inserts here in your, in your windows. Those can also be taken out in the summer to provide a ton of airflow back here. All right, here's a look at the gooseneck storage compartment. Trails West has a butterfly door on this thing, so it opens from the top and the bottom here so that you can get full access to it. Obviously, that spare tire being an 8,000-pound axle is heavy, so we made the bottom hinge out as well to give you a lot more access to be able to open it. Battery tray right here. Like I said, we can add more batteries to this. Dual five-gallon propane tanks with an auto-switching regulator. And then this is your hydraulic system for your two uh, automatic feet that come down on your jacks. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much the whole overview of this trailer. I hope you enjoyed it. With the drone shots, you can see above it. You can see the generator. With all the interior shots, you can see whatever you need. Yep. All right, guys, thanks for watching that video. If you liked it, make sure to hit that thumbs up button. Hit that subscribe button if you want to see more content like this. Um, and if you're interested in this trailer, give us a call here at Life Elevated Trailers. We can talk you through this one and how to make it work for your needs. And one thing we pride ourselves on here is that no matter what your needs are, we will find you the trailer that will fit those needs. And if we don't have it, we're not going to try to push you into something that isn't good for you. So give us a call and we'll take care of you. Thanks for watching.